If when launching a debug session, there are extra actions that you wish to perform, one method of doing this is using an initialization script. Initialization script, such as the one shown here, is a simple JavaScript file. This is similar to a debug server scripting script, with the exception being that the commands here are not contained within a function. Here I have a command to open a debug session, I connect to the target, I load a specified program, set a breakpoint, and then run. This is meant just to be a simple example. To set up the script, I need to have launched my debug session once so that something called a debug configuration is created. Once I've done that, I can go to the bug button, click the arrow, and select debug configurations. Here I select the debug configuration for my project. It has the same name. And I specify on the right the script that I want to run. In my case, I made the script part of my project so that it is easy to select. I can simply go to the workspace button, browse the project, and select the script. Now, since we are performing a number of actions within the script itself, I am removing the automatic options that CCS would normally perform. I cleared the program field here so that CCS itself will not try to load the program. And in the target settings, I went to auto run and unchecked the box for it to run to main, unload or restart. I did this because I am performing other actions myself within the script and I do not want these to interfere. Now, when I launch the debug session, it connects to the device, loads the program, sets my breakpoint, and runs. And you can see here that it halted at the breakpoint that was set. There's a lot that you can do with this. This was meant just as a simple example.